Hi there. What kind of struggles do you have around the holidays with food? Um, are you anxious when you know you're going to be celebrating, uh, whether it's at your own home or you're invited out or somebody gives you a special treat? Coach Yvonne Grossi here, and I want to share with you some of the things that I struggled with in the past. Um, I remember growing up having these, my mother used to stuff our stockings with the best chocolate, um, not because it was good in quality, but because it tasted delicious. And I could name you my favorite chocolates. And the years she didn't put those in there, I was really upset. My brother and I uh, talk about it every once in a while and um, discuss how, you know, different tr candies, different things that we had in our stockings. And I don't remember one of the ones he says, I don't remember what it was. Um, but then there were a couple that yeah, after one year we didn't get it. And it was like, mom, how could you? I love the holidays. I remember getting tins of goodies, oh, chocolates and different kinds of cookies. And yes, I'm smiling because they were wonderful memories growing up as a kid. Um, but fast forward as an adult, and all of a sudden, those candy memories, those sweet treat memories, the, um, the junk food that I didn't get really during the rest of the year was only at Christmas time started to come a little bit more frequently throughout the rest of the year. Because as an adult, I could have whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And all of a sudden, uh, I, I realized, I don't remember at what point uh, in my adult life, but you know, I can make every, I could make every day a holiday and I can have these foods. I can make them myself. I can buy them. There are certain things I can't buy if it's not the holiday season. They call those the seasonal items. But um, I might be able to make them myself and um, or find a substitute. And so I can have this holiday feel anytime during the year. Hmm. And then it was really hard if I white knuckled through my diets, I really found a, a struggle to avoid those things during the holiday season. Um, it was, ugh, it was really painful, mostly because I lacked any kind of self-control to moderate one or two pieces or just a little bit here and there, you know, not to mention the, the time around Thanksgiving and just the, the overindulgence and the food comas. And, um, it was pretty, it was a pretty painful holiday season, most season. And, you know, it was very difficult and very challenging to enjoy the time with my family that I wanted to, to the things that I wanted to do. We had all kinds of activities. Um, we had Christmas programs. We had, you know, there was Black Friday. Um, there were walking around to see the lights and just all these different celebrations that uh, as much as I enjoyed them, the food thoughts and the food obsession really made those events about food and not about, you know, what, the cel what we were celebrating or who I was spending it with. Um, and honestly, that was discouraging. And looking back on it, I didn't even realize what I was missing out on during that time. Now that I'm on the other side and binge free, I have a completely different perspective that I didn't even know. Um, and I'm so ha I'm so much happier during the holiday holiday season now on this other side, uh, and it. I look forward to the holidays more. Um, a couple of, a few years ago, I was on, I went on a cruise, a Mexican Riviera. It was a Christmas Mex Mexican Riviera that my in-laws took my husband and I on. I had a great time. I had so much fun. I really did. But leading up to that Mexican Riviera, I, uh, the diet of choice for me at that time was fasting. So this was after Thanksgiving, 
and leading up until the, a week before Christmas was when we were going to be on this cruise or a couple weeks before Christmas. And I had been fasting. I might have stopped at Thanksgiving. I don't really remember, but I had been fasting regularly uh, to prepare for this cruise, to plan for this cruise, to get in a nice shape for this cruise. And I did pretty well. I got to a nice a low-ish weight for myself at the time. And if you're familiar with cruises, there's a lot of food on the cruises. Uh, it was almost depressing what all the food that there was. I wanted to have it all. I wanted to eat it all. And I couldn't. I actually got sick twice on the cruise, twice in one week. It was two different things. Um, I got sick. I felt better. I was actually in bed for about 36 hours. I decided to fast since I was sick. Um, so about 36 hours, I didn't get to enjoy anything. I was miserable. So um, I just laid in bed that whole time. I was fine for about a day. Um, then I got to eat all the things. And then I got sick again about a day after that. Uh, and even though I had a really good time, I was also really miserable. Coming out of the cruise, I continued to eat more than leading up to Christmas. I ate all the things and it was pretty rough. It was a pretty rough time. Um, I gained back all the weight that I had lost and was ready to start fasting again come January 1st. But it was tough. I had fasted quite a bit leading up. I uh, worked on a, what we call a fasting focused lifestyle, what we call, that's what the fasting community called it. And I'd done all kinds of different fasts, but that was the only thing that I thought that had worked. So to get the weight off. So, uh, in January, I was ready to start fasting again and I lost all motivation. Zero. I had zero motivation to try anything. Um, it was a really, really rough year. Fast forward two years, it was Christmas day and I had been binge free for several months. I had been binge free all through Thanksgiving and all the activities leading up to Christmas day. And I felt amazing. I felt amazing physically. I felt amazing emotionally and I felt amazing uh, mentally. And so I decided before it was time to go into the kitchen to help my husband begin to navigate the food that we were planning on preparing for the day, um, I wanted to take a picture because I wanted to see what it looked like on the outside, the way I felt on the inside. My family was getting ready to come over and we were going to spend an amazing Christmas day together. And I could not wait to enjoy the time with them more than the anticipation of the food, more than the food comas, more than the binge, all the things that I had um, obsessed about during the holidays before was completely gone. There was no obsession. There was no food obsession. There was no food anxiety. I was able to smell the food that was cooking and even the chocolates and the desserts and all the other things. Um, I decided what I was going to have beforehand. I made a plan and I knew I could follow through with it because I had been so successful. It was amazing. So I took this picture and, um, and it, the rest of the day was great. And then the, one of the best things was come January 1st, I didn't even need to start a new diet to undo all the damage that I did over the holidays. Um, uh, I, and so now looking forward, you know, I've had some Christmases like that already under my belt. Um, going into this holiday season is the best feeling because I know that I don't have to binge. I know how to have self-control. Uh, I've got experience with having self-control. I can have what I choose or I can avoid all of it. I can abstain from all of it if I want to. Um, the great thing is, is that I am no longer food obsessed. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family and my friends and other relatives and 
um, I know you can too. I'm kind of curious as to how you feel going into the holidays. Um, what is your plan? What kind of things are, do you do going into the holidays? And um, how many of you are waiting for January 1st to start your diet? Uh, I know you can do this. I, I think that having peace with food around the holidays is so really important. So if you go to my website, I have an option for you to get this free training. Um, it's actually called Binge Free Holiday Masterclass. Uh, and you just need to submit your email and your name. Um, and I'd really love to have you there. If any of this resonates with you, just drop a comment in the comment section below. And I would love to help you as you're going through this time. You guys, you got this. You can have self-control around food even during the holidays.